Moses is a pretty famous dude. Lots of people have heard of him and know the stories about him. And probably the most famous story about Moses is when he gets the Ten Commandments from God. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Alicia. Hi there, Monica. Well, I am afraid I am going to have to stop you talking about the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments from Moses are far too old. Oh. Like thousands of years old, in fact. It's time for some new and improved rules instead. Okay. And luckily for you, I have them here. One minute. Oh, okay. Wow, this is interesting. Oh, what have you got there? Let's have a look. Oh, can I read them for the boys and girls? Please do. Okay, it says, All people shall love Monica. All people shall give Monica gifts. Video games shall be played every day of the week. Pizza shall be had for breakfast. Vegetables shall be burnt with fire. ATM shall give Monica free money. There shall be a bedtime never. School shall never be open. Parents shall do their children's chores. And anything Monica wants, Monica gets. Hmm. I wonder who wrote these new and improved commandments. I'm guessing it was you, Monica. I did, yes. Aren't they awesome? No, not really. What? Why not? Well, they seem to be all about you. And that's a bad thing because... Well, there's a huge difference between God's commandments and these ones. God's commandments are for everyone, and they're all about loving God and loving others. Imagine if everybody lived by God's commandments. They would be safety and peace, and everybody would benefit. But your new and approved commandments are all about you. Imagine if everybody decided to live like this and created rules that only benefited themselves. It would be a pretty selfish and unhappy world. I guess you're right, but rules are just so boring. Oh, but imagine if there were no rules in footy. What would happen? Hmm? If there were no rules, then nobody would know how to play. There'd be cheating and it just wouldn't be any fun. And imagine if there were no rules for drivers on the road, what would happen? Oh. It wouldn't be safe, would it? There'd be lots of accidents and it would be dangerous. Rules are important, they keep us safe. And God's rules are the very best because He loves us. He doesn't want us to have a boring life. He wants us to have a life which is full where we walk with Him each and every day. That does sound pretty good. I'd love to walk each day with God. That would be cool adventure. That's right. Boys and girls, if you have your Bibles, you can open up to Exodus chapter 20. We're going to hear the story about Moses and the Ten Commandments. Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Kids Church. Today we're going to be playing a really cool game. It's called Heads and Tails. When I flip this coin, you're going to need to decide whether you think it's going to land on heads or tails. If you think it's going to land on heads, you've got to put your hands on your heads. If you think it's going to land on tails, put your hands on your bottom. All right, everyone, standing up, time to make your decision. What do you think it will be, heads or tails? You ready? I'm going to flip it. It's heads! Everyone who had their hands on your heads, you are not out. But everyone who had their hands on their bottom, it's the time to sit down. All right, I'm gonna flip it again. What do you think it will be? Heads or tails? Are we ready to see? It's heads again! All right, if you had your hands on your heads, stay standing. And if you had your hands on your bottom, time to sit down. All right, we're gonna flip it one more time. It's tails. If you had your hands on your bottom, you can stay standing. That's the end of our game, boys and girls. But if you have people still standing in your house, see if mum or dad have a coin and you can continue playing until you have a winner. Hi kids. This term we have been learning about Moses. God used him to save his people from slavery and promised to bring them to a new land where they would be free. So in today's story, the people aren't in Egypt anymore and they haven't made it to the promised land yet. They're somewhere in between the desert. 
The people camped at the bottom of a mountain called Mount Sinai, and God came down to the top of the mountain to speak to them. But the people were afraid. There were trumpets and thunder and smoke coming from the mountain, declaring God's awesome presence. So the people stayed at the bottom of the mountain, and Moses and Aaron went up alone to talk with God. During this time, God gave his people rules. He even wrote them down, inscribing them on two stone tablets with his finger. Let's go through them together. One God, no idols, respect God's name, keep God's day holy, honor your parents, do not murder, be faithful in marriage, do not steal, do not lie, and do not envy. These rules were given to the Israelites thousands of years ago, but do you still think they're important for us today? Why do you think that is? As Christians today, we have one thing that the Israelites didn't have, Jesus. When Jesus came, he made all things new. We no longer have to sacrifice animals for our sins like the Israelites did because Jesus gave his life as the ultimate sacrifice. And we know that through his death and resurrection, we have forgiveness, even though we don't deserve it. This is called grace and it can never be taken away from us. But what about the law? What about the commandments that God gave to his people? Do we still need to follow them? Jesus says he did not come down to get rid of the law, but to fulfill it. If we are his followers, then we will desire to obey him. Does anyone know what Jesus said were the two greatest commandments? All 10 commandments can fit into these two commandments. Love God and love others. This is what we are called to do. Thanks for listening today, boys and girls. Bye.